What is going on everybody? Eric the Electric coming to you guys again with another video. This is going to be a very different video for everybody on my channel. Um, in this video I'm going to go through all of my cycling gear I guess you could say. Um, all of you that's, that have followed me for the past six or so months have seen uh, some footage that I put up of uh, climbs, some rides and everything like that. I'm going to go through everything that I have currently, what I use, what I've used in the past and just some helpful tips for everybody that's looking to get into the sport or everybody that's already involved in the sport. So without further ado, let's get to the video, guys. Before we do, here are a few things that you shouldn't do in this sport. Our BMI is at two points. Ugh, I'm not racing this weekend. I think I want to go vegan. Two hundred fifty-one grams. They said it'd be ten grams lighter. My cycling buddy said this made me look more aero. Sugar in the raw. Vegan and naturally gluten-free. Probably not raw enough. Everyone, if you're gonna ride a bike, do me a favor and don't be that guy. Now let's get to my gear. Alrighty guys, so here we go, here's my gear. Uh, keep in mind I'm going to be going over the main three things that I use every day on the bike, and that is the shoes, the helmet, and of course the bike itself. Uh, I'm starting off here with the Mavic Ultimates, um, Cosmic Ultimate shoes. I just recently picked these up and I'm a size 45. Uh, comfort is huge and you got to have nice shoes. I've always used the Shimano R088s and just upgraded to these and these are killer. They came in a black and a yellow and uh, I'm definitely loving these right now. They're a bit dirty, dirty but it's alright. So uh, next we have the CXR Ultimate helmet which was actually I'm uh, testing out right now. I love this thing. I believe it's around 280 grams. The shoes are 230, so I'm not a huge weight weenie myself. I actually just weighed these for the first time today for the video, so. Um, but yeah, this thing is super comfortable. Comes with the adjustable dial on the back right there, which is pretty typical right now in helmets. And um, yeah, it's nice and comfortable. So, um, that being said, then we have the bike right here. The LaPierre Air Code 500, um, size 52. It's got the more of an aero looking uh, design to it, geometry wise, uh, without going endurance based. Then we have the uh, zip stem on there as well. Um, then we have the uh, sleek looking uh, seat post right there with the uh, Roman Evo Expert, which is a saddle that I've had for about three years now. I've had it on countless bikes and I've, I'm never going to stray away from it. Granted, it is a specialized. <laughs> um, then we have the Durace, it's full Tegra with the Durace derailleur, and then the Mavic Keep Wheels. And I'm rocking also the old Tegra pedals as well. That's my gear. Alright guys, so that's my gear. Uh, I hope you guys really got some more insight about what I'm currently riding. Um, I have had numerous bikes in the past, but this has been the best bike. This has been the bike that's fit the best for me, a size 52. Um, I am about 5'8 to 5'9, depends on the, on the day. Um, just a few things I wanted to go over too. Um, just got back from a monster ride today on my day off. and. Um, one, uh, one main thing that's come about pretty frequently in um, most of the comments and most of the videos and everything like that um, <clears throat> is going to be uh, calorie expenditure on the bike and uh, just something I want to touch on very briefly for everybody um, and just for anybody that's either new to the sport or that's intermediate that's an expert in the sport would you know benefit from this greatly in the fact that uh, in knowing a little bit more about it and from my experience and the first thing I want to let everybody know is that uh, cycling whether you're uh, recreational or anything like that especially if you're recreational should be done out of just for fun um, everybody asks me well how many calories do you spend on the bike how many calories do you burn a day um, and the, the bottom of the line is I don't know I uh, don't really care to know. It's not something that's really that important to me. I'm a huge fan of uh, being intuitive and listening to your body, knowing when enough is enough, and uh, knowing when to put the bike up and knowing when to uh, go all balls to the wall on the bike. Uh, those are something that uh, those are things that you really should uh, be able to manage yourself. Um, unless you're really a, a pro athlete and a pro cyclist, you really don't really need to uh, fixate on those things. Uh, another point is to uh, there's no real way to know um, how much 
energy you're burning on the bike unless you are using a power power meter or you are measuring your heart rate uh, meticulously and even if you are measuring your heart rate it's still it's a rough estimation so it all boils down to those things um, if you're a pro if you're actually training for an Ironman for a triathlon uh, you're trying to get your heart rate um, trying to get your heart rate going really trying to get a good workout in then I can understand but for the most part 99% of you watching this video don't really need to worry about those things don't really need to worry about energy expenditure. Um, cycling is my main hobby, my main passion, um, along with many other things. So I choose not to worry about that. I could, if I wanted to, I could spend nine hundred to a thousand dollars on a power meter. But again, just not one of my, not one of my priorities right now. So uh, unless you plan on doing that, don't expect to know exactly how much you're burning, how much power you're putting down, and everything like that. That being said, it's time for me to go. Glad you guys liked the video. Stay tuned for more. Uh, I'm also going to be coming out with weekly cycling videos. The next one, I'm going to go into how to, how to build your leg strength, how to get, um, I would say, better quads, how to uh, just develop a, a better lower body overall in general, how to build your stamina on the bike, and what to expect when you do start riding outside. So without further ado, I'm going to end the video now. Stay tuned for the next one, guys.